Sheriff's Office and Fire Department of a major natural gas leak here at the 7,000 block of Airport Way South. The natural gas leak was pouring into a building approximately 100 by 200 feet in size. And when we got here, we were able to confirm that the air quality levels were dangerous, meaning that there was enough natural gas in the air to become flammable. As a result, we evacuated the immediate area a thousand feet from the original building, and we've created a restricted zone one mile, sorry, one half mile in radius from the address of the original building. As a result, BNSF major rail has been shut down along with Seattle City Light has shut down power to this immediate vicinity. Natural gas line has been secured. There are no injuries to report. Currently, we are ventilating the area and we'll be setting in our hazmat team to check again for air quality levels to see if it is safe for people to re-enter that building. Um, the cause for the natural gas leak is still under investigation. I don't have additional information at this time. I don't have a specific number of the number of people or the businesses that were impacted or evacuated. However, it was a 1,000 foot radius from the original building. That includes the King County Airport and Boeing Field. Flights into King County Airport have also been suspended for this time. This could have been very dangerous. Luckily, we're able to, to evacuate the area as quickly as possible to make sure that we minimized any uh, injuries or, or uh, damage. Right now, the, the, again, as I mentioned before, the natural gas line has been secured and we're currently sending our hazmat team in to check for air quality levels inside that building. At this moment, I don't have a clear indication, but it's going to be at least one more to two more hours. Talk about the, the response you have, the hazmat response. How, many, how much manpower do you have to do with the So this is a joint effort response. We, Seattle Fire, have had this as a one alarm or what we call a full response, meaning a minimum of five engines, three ladder trucks. That includes our hazmat team. Now our mobile ventilation unit uh, are here. We've started to demobilize as a result of the gas leak being secured. So our rescue operations team, our rescue one team has, has been put it back in service. Um, this is a joint uh, response. So that also includes King County Sheriff's Office along with the King County Fire Department. Renton Fire is also here along with uh, Puget Sound Energy and Seattle City Light. I don't know if there's any construction. When I when I got here on scene, Puget Sound Energy was um, opening a manhole cover to get access to a pipeline. So you don't exactly know what caused it? We don't. What was the impact to Boeing Field in terms of the aircraft banning? Any impacts to that? Yes. So for Boeing Field and with King County Airport, all flights have been suspended, both outgoing and landing in. As a result, all the commercial buildings within a thousand foot radius of the original address where the natural gas leak happened have all been evacuated. You might have answered this, but how long does this uh, ventilation process take to clear everything up? So there was a significant amount of natural gas that was in this building. It was approximately 100 by 200 square feet in size. I'm sorry, not square feet, but 100 feet by 200 feet in size. It was a, it was a warehouse sized building that had dangerous levels of natural gas, which means that it was at the point where it could have been flammable. So we're waiting right now, the gas leak has been secured, but we're waiting right now to see if it's actually safe to enter in so that we could bring in our mobile ventilation unit to push that natural gas out of the confined space of that building. And that may take several hours. Can you, can you characterize the building? Was it occupied? Was it, is there a business there or is it unoccupied? Do you think you say anything about it? Um, I don't actually have that information. On a separate issue, can you ask about the, uh, the Seattle Fire Department employee who was in charge of the threat towards the I don't have uh, additional information at this time. I do recommend to reach out to SPD's PIO along with um, our main uh, network. So please email us at SFDPIO for further information. So as that, uh, as that information became available, this natural gas leak happened just coincidentally. So I've been here for this response. Can we expect some sort of release or something from the fire department later 
Um, again, we'll have to double check with, with the other PIO. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. That's it. Unfortunately, it's going to be closed for a little while longer. Okay. The road will be closed for another couple hours, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Of course. So there you have it, uh, the very latest out of King County area.